how many backlinks do you need to rank your site? Patrick Bobakanian here from SerbChampion.com. Very excited for you to tune in and check out our new video on Serb Champion TV. I get this question all the time and it's like, you don't have an answer for me, Patrick? Then I don't trust you. Trust me, it's not that simple. It's not based on, hmm, I checked your website. You need 21 backlinks from this source and 27 backlinks from that source. It doesn't work that way because Google is more complex than that. The algorithm is more complex than that. You have two factors, right? So you have the on-page part. So that's your website. Your website needs to be optimized properly for the keywords you're targeting. And that's not only including keywords in your content, in your title and meta description, and even in your permalink, because even then you don't want to overdo it, but you also don't want to under optimize yourself. So you're not using your keywords enough, but it doesn't stop there because you also have user experience. You have bounce rate. How long do people stay on your site? Right? And clicking and browsing through different pages of your site. So all of these factors of your own website have their own values, right? And they also have their own credibility with Google. That's only the one part. We're not even talking about backlinks, but I am saying if your value, if your credibility of your on page is super great and your user experience is super great. And by the way, how can you tell that low bounce rate, long dwell time, people that browse through multiple pages and keep reading your content. That's good user experience. So that's all measurable. So if you have that right, you don't need as many links as a site that's mediocre, as a site that's kind of poorly designed and poorly optimized, right? So then you need way less links than a shitty ass website would. So it's really hard. So it really starts with your own website first. If you get that right, then you look at the link building. The most you can do to figure out how many links you need is to look at your competitors. So you're going to look at your top three competitors, right? And for every keyword, and you're going to look at their homepage, their inner pages, check how many backlinks they have in total, and not only look at the quantity, but also look at the quality of the backlinks. I just want to show you a quick example of what it takes to rank your site and obviously giving you a better understanding of how many backlinks you need, how much does it, how much work does it involve? Is it even that simple or complex? I'm just going to show you so you just get a better understanding. So before I do that, I just want to show you how many times people look for uh, an answer to this question on Google. I mean, in my personal experience, I get a ton of questions. Every single day I get the same question. Mainly, these are mainly beginning SEOs because they don't understand the concept as much, but this could also be uh, SEOs that have been ranking sites for a few years already. They always wonder, how many backlinks do I need? So just to give you a quick glimpse of you know, what happens in Google, people search for this. For such a long tail keyword, they still search for it. So you got so many variations, right? How many backlinks do I need? Backlinks required. I need backlinks. So this, how many links does my site have? So it's a big concept. How many backlinks do I need to rank my site, right? So in this video, again, I'm going to tell you it's not that simple. You can't just say you need 50 links, you need 20 links. So what I did was I literally just went on Google and typed in best hoverboard reviews and I came to two websites, number one and position number two, right? So number one is reviews.com slash hoverboard. So, so, so they're ranking for a lot of keywords, which is great, right? So I checked their backlinks and if you can go to the inner page, like what I just did, you go to the inner page, you look at the backlinks. Okay, they got 67 backlinks from 18 referring domains. Their anchor text profile is this, so you can always check that out, right? So number two has also 
links to the inner page, 58 backlinks from 31 referring domains. So it's slightly less than this one. Obviously, it doesn't stop here because it's not really about quantity. It's also about the quality of these backlinks, right? So 67 from 18 and 58 from 31. As you can check the anchor text profile if you want, check how they do it. Now, here's the thing. You can't just look at the backlinks because it starts with the website first. Websites that have a better user experience, lower bounce rate, get rewarded quicker, so they need less backlinks to rank their pages, right? So let's just go on reviews.com slash hoverboard, and you can see their website right here, and the first look I get is it looks trustworthy. It looks like a good place to get solid information about what I'm trying to get get at and the information I need. It's in here. They got a table of contents. So navigationally, it's really well properly optimized. They got images, sub headlines, and it looks it really looks good. So you can already imagine the bounce rate of this site, the user experience, the dwell time, people staying on your site and browsing through different pages. So for example, this site will need fewer links to this exact page to rank, right? And what you can also do is you can always check out the keyword density hoverboard. They use it nine times, which isn't much at all. Actually, it's 40 times. So let's look at number two. So when we look at number two, it says top 10 best budget. This site looks like a budget site, you know, ironically. So it does look less trustworthy. It, it looks like the bounce rate is a lot higher than this one, right? So this site needs more links to rank for best hoverboard reviews because they're not scoring well with Google because it doesn't look trustworthy. There's no user experience. Hoverboard is mentioned 134 times. So that really, you know, lowers the quality of the content because it's keyword stuffed. It's stuffed with keywords. It doesn't look trustworthy. Bounce rate is high. So instead of this site, this page getting five links, this site might need 15 links to push the site up, right? So the whole concept of how many backlinks do I need to rank my site changes completely when your site, your user experience, your proper proper keyword densities are correctly optimized. So like I said, you can't give an exact number to links. And also, it's also about the homepage link. So when you look at Ahrefs, obviously reviews.com is a way bigger site. So they have 160,000 links to so many pages to their site and top 10 best budget has a lot less so 577 which is very low compared to this so yeah this site does have a lot more links because they also have a lot more content but like i said you can't just look at the inner page and look at their backlinks you can you, you also need to look at the home page just to get an indication and obviously it's not all it's not about quantity alone it's also about quality so dr ur you can already check the type of quality of the links and also look at the external link outbound links on that page obviously the lower the more quality it is for example this link is very very valuable because it has a dr 51 and they only have 10 links on their page so it's a lot more valuable than a link from this page because it has over a hundred links outbound links so that diminishes the link power of that link so like I said it goes much further than just quantity based it doesn't really answer your question if you're like how many backlinks do I need to rank my site that there's no answer for it there is no answer for it so I wanted to show you this give you a better understanding and open your eyes just so you can realize hey it's not how it works. This is how it works. That's kind of an indication how many backlinks you need, but it's not a guarantee. In fact, it doesn't work that way. So my answer to how many backlinks do you need is first of all, fix your site, make sure your bounce rate is low, make sure people browse through different pages of your site by setting up silo structures, by interlinking pages uh, with each other. The content needs to be relevant, so you gotta link out to that. 
and then make sure it has a nice design, a trustworthy design with a nice user experience feeling. That's the first step. You got to get that done. Once you have that, look at your competitors, your top three competitors. How many backlinks do they have? What's the quality of the backlinks? And then make a game plan. At the end of the day, my answer is build links until you rank your site. And it's an anticipation game. I hope this video really clarified and opened your eyes when it comes to how many links you need to rank. And if you have any questions, just contact me on serbchampion.com. I'll get back to you with some advice, with free insights, tips and tricks, whatever you need. Just send us a message and our team or me personally will respond to your email and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching this video and I'm looking forward to the next one.